Well, the scandal-plagued Church of the Highlands in Alabama is now denying that they have a $4.5 million retreat center for fallen pastors. But this goes against what their senior pastor said in 2021. So what's the story? What's really going on? We're going to dive in and discuss in just a second. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, we walk by faith, not by sight. And hey, for someone like me, that's all I can do. Hey, do me a huge favor. Also, if you could hit that like button, it really helps us out in the algorithms, getting these videos out there to more people. Share the videos as well across all your platforms. Hit that bell, subscribe. Yes, wear the glasses because I'm blind, not because I'm trying to make a fashion statement of any kind. And if you guys could consider making a generous donation to my ministry to support me, a couple of ways you can do that. One, simply click that super thanks button down below on this video here to make a one-time donation. Really easy to do right from the main video page. You can select any amount you want or join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash not by sight news. When you guys sign up there, you're going to get exclusive early access to these videos before they ever hit the main YouTube channel. You'll also be alerted for all my content, which you don't get with the YT notifications. If you're not already a part of my Patreon, I guarantee you're missing a ton of my videos. You can also comment censorship free on all the videos there and send direct messages to me. So check it out, patreon.com slash news link in the description. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Now, Church of the Highlands uh, is an ARC church. It's it's uh, the Association of Related Churches. Uh, these are uh, a group of what have been scandal-plagued churches that are all together under one umbrella. I've talked about them now for the better part of probably three years. Uh, and all the various scandals that have occurred at all these churches. And Church of the Highlands, which is led by Chris Hodges, um, is actually a church that housed one of these fallen pastors by the name of Mekon Carter. And, you know, I've talked about him in the past, too. He was accused of some just terrible things uh, at one of his former churches. And he had been put through a small restoration uh, period there through Church of the Highlands. Uh, before they had finally dismissed him altogether after more allegations of him came to light with a former staffer, if you get what I mean. So with that, you had this announcement in 2021 that Church of the Highlands was coming up with this new $4.5 million retreat center. Actually, it's called The Lodge. And The Lodge, well, according to Hodges at the time, was it be used as sort of a... Uh, a pastoral retreat center uh, to sort of rehab these fallen pastors and then get them back in ministry again. Now you got to think for these pastors that commit whatever God awful acts they do, because I've talked about a variety of different ones, whether it's spiritual abuse of some kind or even worse, um, to have them go into a, a, a wellness retreat for an unspecified amount of time, how are you ensuring that they're truly getting uh, a restoration process that's really going to put them back on the straight and narrow? How are you guaranteeing that? And also, people have asked this question, you know, are, are you going to be transparent with your congregation and let them know which pastors are there, for how long they're there, what they did to go there in the first place, and what is this whole restoration process entail? See, none of that has happened. And now you have associate pastors within Church of the Highlands saying that, no, this is not a retreat center. We're not restoring fallen pastors. So which is it? Why are you backing down? I think the heat's been turned up a little bit here and they can't handle it. Now, these questions are good questions. Is this truly a place where you can see pastors getting the help that they need? No, it's a glorified vacation. It was even talked about at the time. There's all these beds, and it, 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 it's, a, it's a beautiful facility with all sorts of activities for pastors to do. They can pray, and they can, you know, they can get the rest that they need. But the problem is, this is just cycling in one bad pastor after the next. They come to the, you know, they get dismissed from their church. They come to the retreat center. All of a sudden, they send them out on their way, and they're good to go, right? Putting them right back into some other church. There's no way to know what's really going on here within the centers. And the fact that these churches have been plagued with so many scandals tells you a lot about the leadership, doesn't it? Chris Hodges, Dino Rizzo, all of them. I've talked about them before in the past. This isn't something that a congregation wants to see. 
By the way, this is your tithes and offerings that are going towards this uh, $4.5 million lodge facility for these pastors, right? Pastors, by the way, have hurt many people, many congregations, and they're rewarded with a retreat where they can bring their families with them and all this. It's, 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 just, it's disgusting, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, and the people have every right to be upset about it. Now, it is said that Hodges is supposed to be releasing some sort of a more formal statement on the controversy, the accusations about, is it a retreat center? Is it for fallen pastors to restore them? Is it not? That's supposedly coming soon. Uh, but again, the ARC churches have already been exposed at this point. And, and many of them too, by the way, have folded completely and are not even operational anymore because certain pastors they had running them ran them into the ground uh, in a variety of different issues that arose from that. So I just think that they've done a terrible job here overall uh, with managing this group of churches. You know, the, the church plants and everything else like that. Yeah, they're the largest church plant in the U.S., that being ARC. Uh, but once you get the church up and going, the problem is they're unable to maintain them. They're unable to keep their pastors in check as much as they say, oh, this retreat center is going to help. No, no. These, these men have hurt a lot of people. And I'm for one that if you were a pastor and you had a moral failing, whatever it was, you're disqualified for ministry. You shouldn't be back in the pulpit preaching again. Now, it doesn't mean you can't be a part of a church. It doesn't mean you can't be restored to God, but restored to a pulpit again. You know, being given, you know, you know the, the ability, the, the, the privilege, really, uh, to preach to a congregation, they shouldn't be given that. That, to me, that, that trust, that bond has been broken already. But this is what they're going to be doing. So what do you guys think? Sound off down below. A $4.5 million retreat restoration center for these pastors. Should it be happening? Do you believe Church of the Highlands? Now it's saying, that, oh, that's not the case. Let me know. More information for you in the description what I want to do right now, though, is something I do on all of these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. I talk about the end-time Bible prophecy headlines, of course, keep you guys up to speed and everything else going on. I do it because we are in the last days, and Christ is coming soon. Now, for anybody watching me now, if you have never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back in your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the Word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask Him to forgive you and wipe your sin away, the Bible says He doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, uh, more information in the description below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. Join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash news. Link in the description. Remember, you're going to get exclusive early access to these videos before they even hit the main YouTube channel. Or you can simply hit that super thanks button down below on this video here where you can tip me with a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. I'll talk with you soon.